Hey everyone, welcome to Trades Tutor. This is the fifth part of the calorific value series or, or uh, videos. And I'm just going to go through three random calculations, just taking one calorific value and translating into something else. So let's get going. Question one. First thing we're going to deal with is 1,700 BTUs per cubic foot. So that's the way to say a calorific value of a specific gas. And we want to translate it, same gas, what would it be in kilowatts per cubic meter? Now this is going to be a two-part process. Okay. Step one, we're going to change the heat energy. And this is the way I always work it. I always do the heat energy first. It's a lot easier um, for me to visualize it this. We're not changing the volume at all here yet. So it's just a random, it's not random, it's just changing one version of heat into another version of heat. So from BTUs to kilowatts. So BTUs over to kilowatts. There we go. So what we have to remember is that one kilowatt is 3,412 BTUs. So how do we work it? We go take the number of BTUs we have, divide it by the number you need for a kilowatt, and we get 0.498 kilowatts. All right, so what we can then do, get rid of all that, put the 498 over here, and realize that this is per cubic foot. We still have to change the volume. Now it gets a little trickier. We have to visualize we're going from a cubic foot, okay, changing the volume. We're going from a cubic foot up to a cubic meter. We're getting a lot bigger. There's going to be a lot more gas in there. So what we got to do is remember the number. One cubic meter is 35.31 times bigger than a cubic foot. So we'll take our 0.498 per cubic foot, multiply it by 35.31, because we're getting that much bigger to get, and there we go, 17.58 kilowatts per cubic meter. Another way to say the calorific value of the gas, which is the same as saying it's 1700 BTUs per cubic foot. Okay. There you go. All right, should we try another one? Question two. We start with kilowatts per cubic meter, and we're going to go back to BTUs per cubic foot. Same thing, two steps. Step number one is the heat, which I always like to do first. Kilowatts over to BTUs. Step two is volume cubic meters down to cubic feet. Remember that we're getting smaller there. Okay, And the numbers we have to remember are those two. So we'll start with that. We'll take 7.38, multiply it by 3412, because it's going to get to be a bigger number, more BTUs in a kilowatt, to give us 25,181. Now, don't forget, that's per cubic meter. Okay, step two then, cubic meter to cubic feet. We are going smaller. We are going to divide because a cubic meter is much bigger than a cubic feet, cubic foot. So there you go, going down to a cubic foot. And we end up with that. So there you go. 713.1 BTUs per cubic foot is another way to express the calorific of value of a gas which can be also expressed as 7.38 kilowatts per cubic meter. All right, let's do one more. There we go. Kilowatts per cubic foot and BTUs per cubic meter. Same thing. Two steps. Kilowatts to BTUs, cubic feet to cubic meter. Once again, we're going up in volume, a bigger volume. So we would go 1.354 kilowatts, multiply that by 3412 to get that many BTUs. Now, once again, that's BTUs only per cubic foot. We got to go to the cubic meter, so we take that, multiply it by 
to get 163,125 BTUs per cubic meter. And there you go. So hopefully this helps you guys out. Um, watch it a couple times if, if you're having issues. I know that the volume is one of the ones that tricks people up. But specifically visualize a cubic foot up to a cubic meter or a cubic meter back to a cubic foot. That's the sticking point with a lot of students. So wrap that in your head. Try to wrap that around in your head. And good luck, guys. Um, I think that's the end of the video. There you go. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and hopefully we'll see you back watching more videos. I will be making four or five per week, hopefully, a little five, four or five-part series on different topics. So thanks for watching. Take care, and have a good day.